Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Alpha Investment. I have a crazy video for you. It's a meta zoo video that he made. Uh, it's titled like Native is $100 plus. But what, Anf uh, what <laughs> not Anthony, what uh, Rudy Chan does not tell you is there's only five sales in the last month. So he is absolutely manipulating the bejesus out of his Patreons, right? Especially for MetaZoo, it's a little bit more clear of MetaZoo because the MetaZoo fans have turned on him. Um, let me just read you what is going on in MetaZoo. It just got worse for MetaZoo. Artists quit. The end of MetaZoo or cute new beginning. MetaZoo artists are leaving. What the blank happened to MetaZoo? This is the first thing that you look at when you see MetaZoo. And again... The MetaZoo content creators are doing other stuff now. They're doing My Heria Academia. They're doing anything and everything but MetaZoo. And yet you still got Alpha Investments pumping the zoo to the moon. And a lot of the tactics he uses is the same tactics I warn you about. The idea is very simple. You can buy, man. You can buy as much as you want. But how are you going to sell? So in Magic the Gathering, it is a liquidity issue. Uh, the liquidity issue is really easy. If you have 50 boxes of Modern Horizons, how do you plan on selling them? Even the buy list at the biggest store, Dave and Adams, they only want two of them. So how are you going to sell the other 48? And the two that they want to, you know, they want you to uh, buy at is considerably lower than you probably would feel happy about. So he's uh, he got a video called Unbelievable. Native holds 100 plus in a bear market. Uh, that's crazy, man, because he's lying to you. Um, now, again, maybe it's 100 plus, but the majority of it is held by him. And there are no sales. There are five sales in the last month, man. We're going to actually deep, dig, uh, deep dive into it. One of the most important things when you're investing in cards isn't actually how much the box is, quote, worth. It's how liquid the card is, how liquid the sealed box is. If you have 50 boxes of War of the Sparks, all right, you might be able to sell one or two. How are you going to move all 50 in today's? I mean, the competition is ferocious. There are heavy hitters out there like Amazon who dump on you anytime. Well, let's say you got 50 boxes of Crimson um, Val. Like, at any price point, how are you going to move it? Where are you going to move it? What is the demand for Crimson Val right now? It's got to be low. And this is the thing that Alpha Investment never, ever talks about because it kind of just blows up his investment plan for you guys, is liquidity. Liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. And that is the issue at hand right now. When things get tough, there becomes a liquidity crunch. And across any asset, right? It, that there simply is, unless you're, you have cash or stocks or something that you can easily, or you have cash or something that easily can change into cash, you have a liquidity problem. He never, ever talks about it. And this is why this has fa this why it, why it will fail, and fail and fail. The investment, like let's say you have ten sets of Arabian Nights, how do you plan to move it? I think there might be one or two whales that would be interested at the price that Rudy Chan would put it at, but after that, then what? Same with all these boxes. Like okay, cool, you got a bunch of new Compena. You know who else has a bunch of new Compena? Amazon. Where's your liquid? Where's your out? Because your out is not at the buy list because the buy list limits you to probably one, if zero boxes of new. They don't want new Compena. They can wait for Amazon to uh, drop the price in that again. And this is my biggest concern when Rudy's telling people that invest that this is an investment opportunity. There's actually no way to get out of the investment. And when you do want to get out, God forbid, you, you accept the price. Who is going to want to buy minus Alpha Investments himself at one cent on the dollar? Who's going to want to buy it? Like, what's the market like? Like, who is going to want to buy this junk? 
And the answer is really simple. It's nobody. There's no one. Minus the guy who showed it to you. Card Kingdom doesn't want your boxes. Tro and Toe doesn't want your boxes. Dave and Adam don't want your boxes. I'm not talking about you bought one or two boxes. I'm talking about you bought a hundred of the same item. And you thought Modern Horizons. I, let's just list the items. Modern Horizons. Modern Horizons 2. Conspiracy. Modern Masters. Uh, Collector's Edition of Pharos and Throne of the Eldrin. These are... These were supposed to be incredible investments, according to Alpha Investment. The OG collector boxes, right? The first of item, you would think they would have some value. Secret layers, like Rudy has a whole truckload, right? The issue is very simple. He doesn't love the game. He doesn't even play Magic. I'll challenge Rudy to MTG Arena battle right now. Winner gets to continue to do magic and loser liquidates their assets. And uh, you and you, you will see how difficult it is to liquidate. If Alpha Investment cannot liquidate his Weiss, his magic, his Meadow Zoo, how, what chance in hell do you have? You have no subscribers, no views, no fans, nothing. What chance in hell do I have? None. So you're talking about one of the biggest, you know, Timmy attractors in the universe. And he don't even have enough Timmy's to bail him out with his heavy bags. How the F are you going to get bailed out, my friends? How the F are you going to get bailed out when you cannot sell these boxes for $89 a box? I found it pretty hilarious, right? It, I mean, a lot, there's a lot of hilarious things. But the Meta Zoo video where the title of the video is uh, Meta Zoo to the Moon. Or what was the title of the video? I'm going to roast them so bad in this video, man. It's so bad. I, I Alpha Investments made some bad videos recently, but this takes the cake. The video is typed, titled, it's a, a TCG thing, right? Where it actually shows you it's $91. Unbelievable. Native holds 100 plus in a bear market. What he doesn't tell you about this native Meta Zoo set is he owns a lot of it. He owns basically a, a monopoly over it. And only five of it has sold in the last month. That's congratulations, dude. Congratulations. You sold four, five boxes out of your 5,000 boxes. Congrats. We're making real movement. In another uh, thousand days or another thousand months, how much is it? And, and they, by the time that you're dead and your grandchildren are dead, you might be able to move at this current rate, you might be able to move off the uh, native Meta Zoo set. Yikes, my dude. Like, this is just almost... Um, it's brutal what he's saying to you because it's not correct at all. Financially, any financial... Ask anyone in Wall Street. Call your wealth broker right now and ask him about this guy. They're going to, think, they're going to say he's a joke given the financial advice he's been given.